Aww. I thought it would be like funny, but it wasn't. It was boring. Like me. Uh, okay, yeah, so you've got one more guy, and I believe he's upstairs in one of the shops. I'll, I'll know what the shop's called when I see it. Um, and then we can kill him. The map, like yeah, the map on this game is an absolute mess. Yeah, well, I thought I recently looked at it, so I thought I'd try. Down here we go. That's the camera. I'm surprised you actually made it. So am I. I don't think I would. You got telescopic arms. <laughs> arms on sticks. <laughs> so a picture only of a T-Rex with those like hand things. Yeah. You know, like a hand on a stick. It's like I'm unstoppable. <laughs> it was so stupid. I kept laughing at it for like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. No. Well, I'm not alcoholic now. Kind of. What was that? I don't know. I didn't like it. Why well, apparently it? smashing alcohol means the game's like, nah, you can skip some frames, boy. Yeah, at least it's not. At least that's one of the great things about this game. The frames aren't as bad as Fallout. <laughs> oh, that game on PS3 is such a fucking mess. What Fallout 3 or Vegas? Um, more more Fallout 3. Fallout New Vegas had one DLC called Lonesome Road. I haven't played that one yet, and I do intend to play it. So no spoilers. Yeah, well, on PS3, that that was an absolute clusterfuck. Was <laughs> it really? It was. The whole game, was, uh, the whole like DLC was like 10, 15 frames a second when I played it. I don't know if that's because I had like a long run, like Skyrim had that problem where if you if your save got too big, it just it just caused so many issues. So no. I don't, don't care. So I don't know if my New Vegas save got to a, a size because it, it runs on the same engine. So I don't know whether just did it again. Yeah, I don't know whether um, my New Vegas size got too big, and then when I went through that DLC, it just caused so many issues. But I went through it on PC, and it was fine. As it is, obviously, because it's PC. But yeah, Fallout 3 was such a nightmare. It was my f I think that was my first Bethesda game as well. Yeah, Fallout 3 was my first Bethesda game. Was it? You might have played. No, I think Oblivion was my first Bethesda game, actually. Yeah, unless you played any of the earlier Elder Scrolls. No, I didn't. I own all the Elder Scrolls now because yeah. I bought the Anthology Collection. But my first one was Oblivion. I quite enjoyed Oblivion. But I do prefer Skyrim, which a lot of people disagree with. But eh, increased pistol damage with my. Oh, but I know that's why. I don't think I'm going to come this way. No. I don't know what's... Another auto hack. Oh, I had to get all the hacks. You got some money at least. Oh yeah, they're really terrible water texture. <laughs> oh. oh, that's the spice that was sitting in the corner. Yeah, little fella. Oh, little fella. But no, that Skyrim issue, where your file got too big, I had that. Yeah. I know, yeah. Skyrim was an absolute mess. Yeah, but most, like, Skyrim and Fallout games are when they first launch. Like, New Vegas was no better. New Vegas was terrible when it launched. Was just about to attack on the wrench. Yeah, I... I can't remember if I got New Vegas on day one. I'm pretty sure I did. I didn't, I didn't buy New Vegas until way, way later. I can't remember why. But I didn't get a launch. Oh, this is easy. Watching the gym them. Ooh, a rubber hose. We can have some fun with that. Have you seen them? Um, I've, I've got to send it to you if you haven't seen it. Have you seen Sonic Inflation Fetish? 
It's a, it's a, I think that's what it's called. It's a flash game that somebody made. And, I mean, you, you've, you know the, what the Sonic fandom's like, don't you? It's like, an, it's like the worst thing in the world. Yes, I won. Uh, well, as maybe. Far as, as far as fandoms go, the Sonic fandom is one of the worst. I mean, I don't really know because I don't spend much time in the Sonic fandom. That, that's probably for the best. <laughs> it's just my favourite thing about the Sonic fandom is my OC do not steal. Yeah. That's one of them. Where it's just a recolor of Sonic the Hedgehog. Did we speak about this once before? Uh, we did on the, the Dark Souls playthrough, but that's been that's since been removed. Oh <laughs> yeah, because I sucked. From the channel. Um, we might have talked about it on the, the Bioshock oh, playthrough right. that we're doing in one of the previous videos, but honestly I can't remember. Oh, oh, it's just... But yeah, there's so many so many different I feel like that was a complete waste of time yeah I mean, there's, there is some exploration in this game but for the most part there's, there's not a great deal it's just do, do you need some extra loot do you need some extra health kits or something but you've already got the max do you want to go explore basically yeah uh, perhaps in a past life you did something terrible to somebody these fortune machines really suck. Uh, have I been this way? Yes, I yeah. have. That's a strip bar. Goodbye. <laughs> you can't hurt me. Uh, that's where you just came from. There's nothing in here, is there? Were no. Not even yourself. There's someone here, we're up. There's a camera, and a guy. And another guy. There we go. I've not been upstairs, apparently. We only issue games like this, so I always end up using one weapon throughout the entire game. You should be using one weapon. Well, in games like this, like this and Dead Space, I tend to just use one weapon to use that and upgrade the hell out of it. Not that you can upgrade the wrench, but... No, well, I mean, you can. Well, I of. guess sort of, it is upgraded now, but. Yeah, I know what you mean. Not in the traditional sense. Yeah, I mean, Dead Space Dead Space had a, an achievement for going through the game with the uh, the plasma cutter <laughs> as your only weapon. Yeah, I got that, and I was like, oh, okay. And I'm pretty sure that was a, um, a gold trophy. Or like the game score on Xbox or whatever. And a bit. And um, obviously. Trophy, gold trophy, that's supposed to be one of the harder challenges to do for that game. Really? I found it yeah, I not know. that uh, difficult. Yeah, it really wasn't because the, the plasma cutter was basically the best weapon in that game. It was like the best all rounder. I, mean, I suppose if you wanted to deal with specific enemy types, then you could you'd be better off getting a, a different gun. I just never bought any other weapons. Like, I think on my second playthrough I bought all the weapons and I never used them to use the plasma car because yeah. they were just better. <laughs> I meant to be up here. No, I don't think there's much. There's not really much here. It's just... Collectibles. collectibles. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, collectibles. So much fun. I mean, the they're actually quite hard for a collector maniac. Oh, I don't know. It's, I think it's... There's a, a period where games just shoved as many collectibles in as possible. That's called the Badger Kazooie area. Area? Era. And... Oh, here we go. This is the right place. you got to find Cobb. Cobb. That sounds like it's going to blow up. Yes, it blew up. But fat loots. Yeah, 
There he is. He's the same as the last guy. Can't follow it that way. Last final alternative route. I think. Yeah, you're right. There's a flaming guy for some reason. Can you freeze the flaming guy? Because that would be hilarious. Yeah. You should be able to, I think. Yeah, you did just then. You can freeze fire. This this game makes no sense. Right. Oh, yeah, I guess it just sort of overpowers it. That's where the way you want to go, but I think you've got to kill the rest of the guys first. Oh. There you go. I don't think I've used my jeans once. No, I have. I should throw someone earlier. So it is the most powerful build in the game, just to bulk yourself up with strength and health. And well, That's what I use, yeah. And that usually gets me through. I mean, there's probably other builds that you can use that are equally viable. But I just, um, I just put in a load of strength and a load of wrench damage. And then you can just, um, this guy's on attack fight, apparently. Yeah. Although, to be honest, the last guy used use the devil, uh, I used a shotgun blast on him, so that's probably why. That is true. But yeah, you just need to Ooh, exploding shit. Look at this. But I think I like it better this way. That's a terrible photo. Yeah, you can barely see him. Let's get a better one. There we go. Much better, 10 out of 10. Goodbye. Okay, cool. So this area is basically done. You just need to put the photos in. Get your rewards. And then you're to the shit part of the game. <laughs> Joe, this part of the game is actually very entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is... Um... <laughs> Fuck, that's good. <laughs> How much have you got? It's probably got full because you've just entered this area. Yeah. But like I said, you're still pretty much fully equipped anyway. Well, there's some. I was going to say, someone on the stairs, and this prick decided to attack me. It's not very nice! Wait, don't run away! I want you dead! That's <laughs> what he's doing. Stop between me and the big daddy. Yeah, I don't know if it's because they was looking for a health station or... Boom. Do I get another reward? Eventually. That's not a reward I wanted. Anyone else? Yeah, there's a couple of waves of, of guys <laughs> and girls. The music is very fitting. La, la, la. Yeah, it's um, Walk to the Flowers. Is that its name? Yeah, it's uh, by Tchaikovsky. I would directly would never have known that. Yeah, well, I don't know anything about metal, so, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Classical music's more my thing. Sure, I once listened to Classic FM for over an hour, because yeah. where I was driving is the only station I could get. <laughs> nice, where were you driving, mate? You could only get one station. I can't remember, I was heading towards, um, I think I was driving towards Wales. Oh, right, that makes yeah. sense then. Yeah. Don't go to Wales. I like Wales. You might be the only person in the UK that likes Wales. <laughs> Even the Welsh don't like Wales. Do you know, I've been to Wales three times. I've never met a Welsh person in Wales. I'm pretty sure the Welsh are a myth. <laughs> the Welsh people don't exist. Right? They're just made up so they can call Wales Wales and not like side England. Yeah. Yeah, I've been to Wales a couple of times. 
and I had a crazy Welsh lady shout at me, but she was shouting at me in Welsh, so I didn't, I didn't understand a word of it. Why was the Welsh lady shouting at you? Um, we, me and my brother, because uh, my uncle used to live up in Wales, and uh, obviously uh, my dad went up there to visit him, and obviously we all came along because we hadn't seen him for ages and whatever. And so, and obviously there's like nothing to do there. As a kid, there's nothing to do there, except for, you know, talk and nonsense. So, um, me and my mother were just playing hide and seek. And you know those big brown sort of garden bins? Oh yeah. I was just hiding in front of that. And I guess because I was, it looked like I was up to no good, I was, you know, I was hiding next to a bin in front of her house. So she, she had to go at me for something. I had no idea what she was saying, so I just walked off. <laughs> oh dear. Um, but yeah, no, I, I don't like whales. <gasps> Is that him? That's him. Come, come, look at it. Too. Well, you can always fight some big daddy and get some Eve. Oh yeah. Go. Is this a wise idea? No. It's not. No. <laughs> oh, I, I hesitated there for a second, but no, it's not a it's not a great idea. Does he murder you if you shoot him? He tries to. Although I, I say it's more like self defence in that case. I mean, if you try to murder him and he murdered you back, then yes, it is self-defense, I guess. Unless you live in this country, in which case you go to prison for it. Not in all cases. Uh, there was a case a few years back now of um, like this old old man and woman that were in their house. Oh, so I reckon the that killed him. Yeah, and they yeah. were done for it. And that, that pissed me off to no end. The, oh, I think it's a different case then, because some guy uh, tried to break into this old guy's house. The old guy, I think, stabbed him or shot him, yeah. and he got away with it. Oh, all right. Yeah, self-defense law in this country is shit. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna go for it. What's that, big daddy? Ah, uh, there's three. Oh, you wanna go for the shotgun? Yeah, that's not the shotgun, is it? No, the shotgun's on the right. And you went. We to... are gonna go big daddy hunting. You went, yeah, electric buck. And for the life of me, I hope I don't die. Oh, you want to go left? You don't want to walk through those? Just like I did them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was not smart. Yes, yeah, so it's on. Uh, if you go through the right. Oh, there you go. And yeah, so the big daddy should be around there somewhere. Right, let's find me a big daddy. Oh, I'm never going to repeat those words ever again. There's one around there somewhere. The screen's shaking, so he must be close by. He might be upstairs. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Scabby on your knee. Right. And yeah, he's got a little girl with him as well. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, you want to get closer. Well, the first shot you want to be close anyway, and then slowly back away. 
<laughs> Mr. Bubbles no. dead. No. 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 <laughs> now I shoot the kid and she dies. Thank you for helping me. What do they even run off to? Uh, they go back into the vents and they um they go to a location. Oh, they do, don't they? Right. Turn around. You pervert. I was gonna hit her up there. Yeah, up, I bet up you were. the hole. 